Deathlings, we are gathered here today to mourn the end of the year of content. She was a good year, a, a decent year. We will not forget her name. It's the year of content. Year of content? It's the year of content. Year of content. In the raging dumpster pyre of pain that was 2017, there were good times. A video every week, a gain of almost 300,000 new deathlings. You can never leave. Our eco-death takeover documentary and content on our blog, like how trans folk can preserve their identity in death, decolonizing death, and famous women in death history. If you're that guy right now commenting, Caitlin, stop promoting that SJW hippie stuff, you don't have to be that guy. There's a place for you here on the right side of history. Come on, sit down. As the year of content comes to a close, here are some of our favorite positively positive death positive moments from 2017. Positive. There was the musical documentary, The Coffin Club, that told the world about groups of senior citizens in New Zealand who get together every week to drink tea, hang with their friends, and craft their own coffin. The Coffin Clubbers sing, we never knew how awesome death could be, as they joyfully design their coffins the way they want, with glitter, cultural imagery, or an homage to Elvis. The state of Victoria in Australia became the first in the country to legalize physician aid in dying. They joined Canada, the Netherlands, Belgium, Colombia, and Luxembourg. And while physician aid in dying isn't legal in all of America's 50 states, currently it's only legal in California, Colorado, DC, Oregon, Vermont, Washington state, and by court decision in Montana, in 2017, 30 states have at least begun the process of making aid in dying legal. Yes, I know, not the cheeriest of topics, but giving a terminally ill person control over their death, as well as how much pain they may or may not suffer at the end of life, is a win for people everywhere. Speaking of legal wins, this year, with your help, California passed a bill that legalizes alkaline hydrolysis, aka aquamation. Starting in 2020, we don't have it at my funeral home right now. Please stop calling asking for it. That was my bad. I should have made the 2020 part clear. Starting in 2020, Californians will be able to have their bodies reduced to bone in an eco-friendly process that relies on an alkaline solution instead of the high heat and carbon emissions of a traditional cremation. Speaking of cremation, did you hear the one about the worker in Michigan who was accidentally cremated by a coworker as he was just taking a nap on a gurney? So first of all, I read this article and my first instinct was, this is the fakest thing I've ever heard. The first thing you learn working as a crematory operator is that dead people, especially people who have been dead for several days, look very different than living people. If a body hasn't been embalmed, it's kept under refrigerated storage, meaning it's cold, and carefully labeled. Before you cremate someone, you check and recheck all the paperwork against the labels on the body. You check for a pacemaker. You don't just grab the nearest still warm body off a gurney and toss it in the machine. Why then, if this seemed so fake, was it on an ABC News official website, a story by a professional reporter? Oh, it wasn't. Someone produced an identical dummy site to ABC News with a fake ABC URL. Why would you do all this for your fake story about cremation? Why? She was a fine one, a weird one, 2017, the year of content, but now it must come to an end. We will miss you, year of content. May flights of Bentham's head sing thee to thy rest. Wait, is your year of content? Is that, is that you? Caitlin, hear my words. Tis not the year of content, for the year of content is dead. Tis I, the year of action. Year of action? What, what is that? Well, mortician, I am the year where deathlings near and far ask themselves, what can I do for my community? This is the year where supporters of the death positive movement become leaders in the death positive revolution. Wow. So you mean this is the year that we encourage viewers like you to take action, to fill in the gaps in death care that only individuals can do from within their own community? 
You got it. The year of action is the year we want to learn how all the people out there are making their communities better through death engagement. It's the year of doing, the year of speaking up, the year of living death consciously, the year of supporting each other, the year of community, the year of- Oh, I like all of those. Can you email me that list? Caitlin, no. It's the year of action. The name stays. Oh, okay, geez. Be well, Caitlin. I'll see you next year. Good luck. I'm not really going anywhere. It's my year after all. I just wanted to give you the gift of a transition. Ah, oh, that's very proactive, thanks. You heard it here first, folks. We've built a team this year, and these weekly videos, they're not stopping. The death revolution continues apace. I'd like to make a tiny plug here for Patreon, which single-handedly funds the production of these videos. Patreon is imperfect. <laughs> Few bumps along the way. But I continue to believe they have good intentions for smaller creators and that it's the best way for us to move forward to make these videos happen. It's vital for me to pay the artists and writers on my team quickly and fairly and equally important that viewers like you who choose to donate feel confident, comfortable, and fully ethical in your donations. So if you can, please help us stay ad and sponsorship free in 2018. Plus, there are tons of rewards, which are actually good. Welcome to the year of action, Deathlings. Taking action before putrefaction. We workshopped that one <laughs> a lot. And now, a tribute to the year we've had and to the year that will be. Happy New Year. There's nothing in this glass. After death, you might notice that your body is going through some changes. Those changes can be confusing. But don't worry, there's no reason to be shy or embarrassed about decomposition. It's perfectly normal, and it happens to everyone. You might steal my corpse and then we're gonna get married, going to the graveyard of love. Can I get a little Photoshop of a crow coroner here? Great, that's, that's perfect, thanks, bye. <laughs> Mummy Brown is kittens! The year was 2011. The number one song in America was Someone Like You by Adele. The president was one Barack Obama. Lady dies to die for body brine. Just because you're dead doesn't mean it has to show. She kind of looks like married old Arwen, doesn't she? Um, setting aside the married old part, are you talking about Elvin Liv Tyler? Because I'll take that. There was even a corpse on an Amtrak train that I was riding last year. Of course, I was like, corpse train? Yes! Uh, if you think I look kind of the same as I do now, it's because I inject embalming fluid into my face. My organs are slowly dissipating inside of me, but I look fabulous. Drainage and vents, give me drainage and vents. Then I find you guilty, and I shall strip you of your popely garments. Don't cry for me, Argentina. The truth is I never left you. All through my wild days as a corpse, my mad existence as a corpse, I kept my promise. Don't keep your distance, even though my super embalmed body was used as a political prop in this really sketchy way. You're so beautiful. Humans have been naturally burying their dead since dead bodies were invented. So somewhere between when that fish crawled out of the primordial soup and Elvis. American mummies! Does your corpse look like this when you wished it looked like this? Well, look no further than Professor Salafia's new special method for the preservation of an entire human cadaver in a permanently fresh state. <gasps> Wah, 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 wah,
it's very unclear where the ledge actually is and I'm kind of just in people's backyards. I think I'm trespassing. Whoops. It's never too early to teach your child that sometimes famous people have their private parts stolen after they die. It is odd, disgusting, dehumanizing, and insensitive to the dead. His skeleton was then articulated with copper wire so that he could be moved and arranged like old white man Gumby. La Pascualita is not an 87-year-old corpse, but an 87-year-old mannequin with some killer PR. This buzzkill has been brought to you by Caitlin Doty in the Order of the Good Death. And not mention the fact that his family brought in a neon tracksuit from 1982 because we're respect bots all the time. No laughter, no fun. The body's wearing a neon tracksuit, come on. Girl, it's a trap. It's a trap. It's a Let's finish up our look. Among other things, cheese puffs and dead birds. So basically, my Saturday night. That's it. Bye. Bantham's head.